What's up guys, uh, Sio Fantasia here with part 3 of the Allegro Gang Programming Tutorial Series. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about blitting, but before we move on we're going to recap uh, and what happened in the last video. In the last video we wrote a fully functional uh, Allegro program. Uh, it blitted to the screen and I believe this is something, it looks something like this plain black screen um, and this function is responsible for that the blit function so in this video we're going to be talking about uh, blit blitting and clipping which we have to do with these four parameters here um, but before I uh, go completely into blitting I'm gonna go ahead and do a little review of um, what the functions that we've called so far so that you won't forget them or won't forget what goes in the in their arguments set color depth um, that's pretty self-explanatory it sets the color depth for the graphics mode that you call here um, just a reminder whenever you um, set the color depth it won't happen until you ha you call until the next call to set GFX mode so if I wanted to s reset the color depth say if I wanted to go later in the game and say uh, set color depth to 16 that change won't happen until I call um, GFX mode again so that's just to let you know that and set GFX mode the function itself is what sets the graphics mode uh, turns it on in, in, in uh, um, another manner of speaking it um, is responsible for setting up the resolution and the virtual screen which are these two parameters but honestly um, most not all platforms support that so um, it's mostly used for scroll scrolling background scrolling in your games but there are other reliable techniques for that um, the first parameter that goes in GFX mode, uh, GFX Auto Detect windowed mode is the driver, the graphics driver, so that it sets it in a windowed mode. Uh, we could set, there I believe there are many different types, you could call GFX Auto Detect, um, GFX Auto Detect windowed like we just did, or we can do GFX Auto Detect full screen and that does that, it sets it in full screen. Basically though what Auto Detect does is it sets the uh, screen in full screen first with the color depth and if that fails it will go to windowed mode and if that fails then it will just quit. Um, GFX Auto Detect windowed in full screen just set it, set, set it that one time and don't try to reset it it will just fail if it doesn't work. So that's what that's all about and these are the resolutions and like I said the virtual screen so you have that down um, now we're going to talk about the bitmap uh, whenever you declare a bitmap you declare a pointer to the bitmap so that it holds the address and not the actual value um, and then create bitmap creates the bitmap and returns the address of a brand new um, I'm not going to say clean bitmap because it's not always clean for instance if we run the program again you can see these green dots what happens is, is you don't clear the screen and you did we didn't we failed to call um, clear bitmap so that the screen it contains garbage data or stuff that's already is somewhere in memory somewhere it didn't clear it for you so um, that's what that's that's why that looks like that and here is our main game loop the while and this condition here while the key is not escape key is not pressed, um, it just means just that. While you don't press the escape key, then blit to the screen. When you hit the escape key, then it will destroy the bitmap, and it will quit the program. And destroy bitmap, it frees up the memory inside of the bitmap that you call with create bitmap and load bitmap. So that's what that's all about. And blit itself is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. So here we go. All right, blit, bit block image transfer. Um, basically, what blit does is it takes the source and 
it blitz it or copies it to the destination bitmap which is the second parameter here uh, and we're going to be talking about clipping and these the stretching functions so so we've 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 put some we showed a, a bitmap and we know what it does so let's do something with that say if you wanted to change the color of the bitmap what you would do is call clear to color and what that does is it takes uh, the pointer to the bitmap that you're trying to change so in this case it would be bitmap and what color you want it to change it to now Allegro does RGB values which it, ta it takes the uh, the bits of the color here the color depth and it converts it to an R value a B value and a G uh, value not in that order because I made a mistake but uh, you call make call which is a function and it takes three parameters the value of red the value of green and the value of blue so if you wanted a red screen you would go 255 that's the max for 8 bits 0 no green and no blue and then you finish that off and that's done and so what happens is it's going to clear the color clear the color of the bitmap to red so we recompile that and now we have a red screen instead of black so that's pretty neat um, and also you can anything that you want the, com 